everyone welcome back to another video i know it's been a bit of a while but uh i thought i would come on and film because today i'm going to see harry styles i'm going to see harry styles at the emirates old trafford cricket ground um a bit nervous because uh, i'm going on night two so i've already seen everyone go on night one and it looks like a bit of a stampede a bit of a like Everyone's rushing and I'm not quite prepared for that one. But I thought I'd do a get ready with me while I do my makeup and we can kind of chat a little bit because I know I've not filmed in a while. I don't actually even know what the last video I filmed was. But yeah, um, I thought I would film while I do my makeup and kind of show you what my outfit is. It's not the most like creative one in the world because I know a lot of people have put a lot of effort in, but I'm hoping my makeup kind of makes up a little bit because my outfit is it's a black skirt and then a white top but the top's got like a strawberry print on it so i'm like that does go right i think because obviously fruit man himself i've also lost everything but it's fine i have got my headphones in because i'm listening to harry styles which i know i'm seeing later but anyway thought we will get on with it um i do have these gems to put on my face i'm hoping it's shot yeah got these gems to put on so I'm gonna do them around my eyes in a bit but first I'm gonna start with my skin because I need to put some concealer on before um, I do the rest of my makeup so I'm just gonna go in with the Rimmel Lasting Finish makeup primer which I was never a primer person but I feel like I've been converted a little bit since I've used this I've had this for ages but I've never, if I'm looking over here, it's gonna look in the mirror. But yeah, I've had this for ages, but I've never um, reached for it until recently. But it's like, it blurs out pores a little bit. So I'm just gonna put that around my nose and a bit on my chin. Um, Cause that's where I feel like I've got the biggest pores or the most obvious pores. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm very excited for tonight. Um, it's currently 11 a.m. Um, and I'm meeting one of my other friends at about half two, half two, half one, to get on the train for two. And then we'll be in Manchester by three. And then I think we're gonna go straight to the stadium, uh, just because I think people are queuing already, which is commitment. And I rate it if that is one of you watching this video and you did do that, that is commitment. But don't think it could quite be me. Um, I'm just hoping for a decent-ish view. If I can see him and he's not tiny, that's fine. So, yeah. Um, but the set list came out last night and it looks very good. Although I am a bit disappointed that he's not playing fine line. Because it is a fine line top, but it's fine. Um, I'm looking forward to Harry's house though. Because I really like that album. And, oh, Sign of the Times. Absolutely ec ecstatic for and he's playing One Direction song. That's what makes you beautiful, so I'm buzzing for that as well. Because I used to be a One Direction stan back in the day. Um, let me quickly hop off and wet this beauty blender. That's where I was going with that. Um, and then I'll come back to you. I am back. I've wet my beauty blender. And now I don't exactly know where my concealer is. As, uh, I had a friend up recently, Faye, if you're watching. You probably are. Um, but now my room's a mess because I just, we put our makeup everywhere. So trying to find things is a bit of a mess because I'm also moving out on Sunday, which is a bit scary because yeah, I'm literally going to this today. Today's Thursday. I've got Friday, Saturday to pack up. Sunday, I'm moving out. So my room's a state also because I'm kind of like trying to sort things out, but not fully got it sorted yet. But that's another big thing happening. And then when I get home, I've got three days and then I'm going to Glastonbury. So this month's been very busy because me and my sister did also go to, well, with our parents, we went to London the beginning of June for the Jubilee, which was a lot of fun, but we woke up, we had to wake up at like 4 a.m. for like three or four of the days because we were getting up early to do things. So. That was a bit long, but it was worth it in the end. And then last weekend, we went and saw Billie Eilish at the O2 Arena for, well, 
What's for my sister's 16th, uh, 15th birthday? So like three years ago almost. But because of COVID, it kept being pushed back. So we went last week and it was unreal. Unreal. We were like on the first uh, like seated section round in row Z. So we didn't have anyone behind us, which was quite good. Cause it means I can could hold my phone as high as I wanted without it being a problem. Um, yeah, we, um, saw Billie Eilish last week, which I would recommend if you ever get the opportunity, but I'm also seeing her at Glastonbury next week. <laughs> so everyone's kind of fitted in at once in this month. I can't lie. Um, but you know, I'd rather be busy than not, especially when it's fun things like this, but, um, yeah trying to make sure I blend this all in properly because it's got to be on my face for a long at least another 12 hours if not about 15 so I'm trying to make sure that it's all fine anyone got any fun summer plans because I know well for me anyway uni's been finished for a while did get a 2-1 on my end of year so my year one grade was a 2-1, which I'm very happy about. Although it was only 1% off at of first. So I'm a little bit, not annoyed, that's the wrong word. A little bit like, ah, oh. like it was very close, but you know, still very happy with my 2-1. And um, you know, my uni's been done for a while, but I know A-levels and GCSEs are still going on. So maybe, I feel like they might be done pretty soon also. Um, I'm trying to think if I've got anything good on the sum in the summer planned. Hoping to possibly go away with some friends like abroad, but that's not been 100% sorted yet. Um, and then I'm going to the Commonwealth Games with my parents and my sister, which will be fun. We're going to see the diving and the gymnastics, I believe. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And then we're also going to Harry Potter World in the same week, so that's exciting. Um, I don't know, I'm just kind of looking forward to going out and being back with all my friends from home. And then the concealer is just my trusty collection, Last Perfection in Fair 5, which was Fair, like the, the lighter shade when they only had about four shades. And then when they added more, this is the lightest one still. Well, I think there's a few lighter now, but that's that shade that matches. And then I've got the Laura Mercier setting powder um which i've had for ages but i don't think i'm anywhere near running out like i've got loads in there which i did go to the van gogh is it immersive experience the one in shoreditch um i went there by myself while my parents and my sister went and did something else um but i paid did i pay like 13 pounds i think um yeah, I think I paid like £13 um, because I got a student ticket. So if you are thinking about going and you are a student, you can book a student ticket. And I don't think they even checked that I had my student card or anything. I did have it on me, but they didn't check. Um, it was good. I don't think I would go again, only because it was like, there was like three rooms, four rooms. And like the first bit was like about his life and had like prints of his work, which was good. And then there was like a drawing room where you could go in and like color in his pictures, but I didn't bother doing that. And then there was a VR room if you wanted to pay more money for the VR experience. But again, wasn't about to do that either. So it kind of left me with the like, I don't know if anyone's seen on TikTok, but the room that's like got all his work like displayed on all the walls. I might have to put a picture in here somewhere. Um, but it's got like all his work on the walls and they kind of move around in in like a I don't know like they move through the pictures I don't know how to explain but it, well, that was good um, but it's meant to take an hour and a half and it only took me about half an hour 40 minutes so take that as you will but I'm just going to come back quickly once I found my uh, tweezers to do the gems on my face so one second I am back, found my tweezers, found my, well, I'm gonna use lash glue to stick the gems on, 
I've just put a little bit on my highlighter palette. So I've got that there and I've got the picture that I, well, I did a practice last night and I've got the picture in front of me. So I can copy that one. I may go off six or more on and then I'll come back on when I've got almost all of them on and finish it off here because I need to concentrate and I realise I'm not going to be able to speak and do it so I'll be back. thought I'd just pop back in and quickly say that I've done my mascara and I used the L'Oreal Telescopic and the Maybelline Lash, Sen Lash Sensational as a duo so thought I'd just come back on and say that quickly and now I need to go and finish these gems because it's 20 to 12 so I need to speed up. Okay. I, have a bike. I am back. It took a long time but I have finished. I don't, I'm going to show you properly but yeah this is what I'm going for. Um, I'm going to finish up my makeup and then I do need to get dressed quickly and finish the TikToks I was filming but um yes it is 10 past 12. I'm meeting my friend up. 20 past one, so I've got roughly an hour to um, get finished up and I need to get dressed as well. So I've got to add that in and I need to sort my hair out again because I did straighten it this morning but I just tied it up so I could do this makeup. But yeah, I'm just putting some more concealer on in the places that I need it. I forgot to mention I did put uh, sun cream on and moisturiser I put. I used the Nivea soft moisturiser and I put some sun cream on before I came on and did this and I'm going to take some with me to the show. Um, but yeah, I don't really know much else I've got to say. I don't know if I've mentioned... I'm in general admission. Um, not early entry or anything, so we'll see where I end up. I'll probably put some videos in at the end of this vlog just to show you what it was like. Um, but yeah, we're getting there for about half three, four, somewhere in there. Um, we're not fully sure what we're doing. We'll just probably follow the feather boas <laughs> because that's how I can tell who's going to Harry and not. Um, but. I am very excited. Um, I just hope he's not like this big and that I can see him a little bit at least. Um, and I am also a bit worried about the train situation because it finishes at like half 10 and the latest train we can get is at 20 to 12. And I'm thinking the amount of people getting on a metro or a bus is a lot. So I'm just hoping we can get on there and get out of there and get back to the station before. Um, the last bus goes, uh, the last train goes, but we will, once again, we will see. Um, but yeah, that's my base makeup done. I'm gonna put some bronzer on. Um, used a Huda, a Huda Beauty, no, Benefit Hula bronzer, that's what I was trying to say there. Um, and just put some on my cheekbones and my jawline and my forehead. I'll probably put a bit more on because I've not ch I'm not in my outfit yet. I'll probably put a bit more on when I um, have finished up, just as a finishing touch. But I'm very happy with my eye makeup. Um, I'm just hoping that they all stay on in the day because obviously it is a while until Harry. I may take the glue and the gems with me, maybe, but then I'm, hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I feel like they will stay on, but I may take the stuff with me anyways, um, because I'm going to take this bag. So I've got a lot of room to put my stuff in. Um, but yeah, I am very excited. I'm looking forward to Simon Signs. I think I've already said this, but that is one of my favourite songs of all time. So it's here at Live. Um, this is going to be very good. And then I've obviously got Glastonbury next weekend. With, uh, next weekend? Next week? God, next week. Ah, it's not that long off anymore. That's scary. It is not that far away. And I need to get all that stuff sorted out. So, yeah, I'm going with six of my best friends, which is fun. Um, there's six, well, 
me included, there's six of us getting on the bus and then one of our other friends is already going to be there because we're going on the Thursday and she's getting there on a Wednesday. So we're going to find somewhere to camp, assess what's going on on the Thursday and then Friday to Sunday is the music and then back on the Monday. So I'm very excited. Um, I'm looking forward to Kendrick Lamar on the Sunday night and Olivia Rodrigo and Calvin Harris because he's got some good sets in the evening so I'm looking forward to that um, let's put more bronzer on than normal <laughs> just because I feel like it's going to come off in the day anyway I just have to be careful and remember that I've got these gems on my face because otherwise they're all going to be off my face before I've even got there To be fair, they feel pretty stuck on, so I feel like I should be fine. Um, but yeah, and my hair's looking very, well, it's not at this exact moment in time, but when I brushed it and straightened it this morning, I used the new Dream Lemps Heat Slayer. Um, and it's like slicked my hair down a bit more than normal, which is nice. So that's good. Um, some bronzer on my nose um, but I'm just going in with the Mary Luminizer by The Balm which is the best highlighter I've ever used um, and I've had this for absolute years if anybody used to watch Emily Cannon they would know how much she used to use this and that is the reason I bought it so that is why I have this and honestly one of the best purchases I've ever made and I've had this for absolute years and it's still full. Like, I've not hit pan anywhere on it, which is surprising. It's dipping down a bit in the middle, but in my head, it's about time because I've had it for a long time, a long time. But I don't really know what to do about lip products. I might take one with me, but not put it on yet because I'm going to eat when we're on the train. So it's not too much of a point. In putting it on right now. Although I am very happy with my base makeup. Normally it doesn't go this well, so I am very happy. I think you can tell that highlight is unreal. Like it is so pretty. Um, and this is just a Morphe brush. I don't know what brushes. The brushes I'm using are either the Beauty Bay, like the ones with the white handles, or these ones were just a set from Amazon ages ago, the pink ones, and then just got a few other black handle morphe ones um but i think i've got them both on beauty day so if you want them you know where to get them from but i think that's my makeup done i'm trying to see if i can move you to a bit better like so you can see ignore the state of my bed behind um but yeah that's the makeup currently um but i'm gonna just quickly put my outfit on I think and then I will talk you through my accessories but I'm back in so the outfit I'm going for is I know it's not everyone's some loads of people I've seen have got really cool outfits and I don't think mine's awful because I think the makeup pulls it like makes it better but I didn't really want to spend loads of money on stuff I wasn't going to wear again um so I haven't got a feather bow or anything but this is the skirt I'm going for it's just a black got a slit a little slit inside just a black skirt from Primark and then the top I'm going for is see it's got strawberries on it and then it's got big strawberries on the back so I'm like it is fitting with Harry as the um like with the strawberries so this was H&M men's it's literally in their new like it's their brand new stuff so this will still be in stock if you want to get it um I'll leave links if I can find them in the description but yeah, that one was 13. So yeah, I'm excited for this. I'm gonna put this on and then I will show you what accessories I'm wearing and then do my hair. So here's my finished makeup under different lights. So you can see a bit more. Sorry, hands were shaking, I'm a bit excited now, but yeah, that's my finished makeup. I just put NYX Tiramisu lip gloss on and then the glossy like shiny one over the top. Yeah, that's my hair and makeup done. And then here's my outfit. It's very basic, but, and you can't see the back, which I mean, you can a little bit there. It's got strawberries on. And then 
just got my Puma trainers and some Primark socks. Then I'm gonna take my shirt. But yeah, that is that I'll outfit. Put through what jewelry I'm gonna use. I am warm now though. I'm trying not to sweat. Sweat this makeup off. Um, I'm gonna wear this little H&M cherry necklace. Can you see this, I think? Yeah, it's like red and glittery, so I'm gonna wear that. Um, and then I'm, well, I'm gonna think I'll keep with the gold jewelry theme ring to wear also. So I'm gonna do that. And then I think I will take a like over shirt with me just in case it gets a bit colder in the evening, but I'm gonna see if I can fold that up in my bag and not put it on at this moment in time because um, it's a bit warm for that, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I've got this butterfly ring, which I might put on this finger. Put that there, and then I've got these two just like plain gold bands from Brandy, which I might put one on my thumb and then one on this finger. But I feel like that's very plain. Hmm. Got the earrings in, I went for the little like palm leaf ones. And then yeah. This is me done, I think. Um, I think I look good, not gonna lie. Not to like boost myself too much, but I think I look good. Um, I'm gonna put my watch back on and I've got some black sunglasses and then, yeah, I'm gonna take that purple bag, but I'm gonna pack the bag and I will put some clips in for the rest of the day. But this is my get ready with me finished, I think. I might add a little bit more, but Apart from that, yeah, that is me done. Thank you all for watching and hope you all have a good rest of your day. If any of you are going to Harry Styles concerts at any point or tonight, enjoy. And I will see you all soon for another video. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you all in a bit. Bye. I don't, side note, don't know how the gems are still on my face. That's beside the point. I honestly had one of the best nights of my life. Um, and that sounds a bit cringe, but literally, one, I can't stop smiling about one of the best nights. Just hearing, like, and, well, all of the songs live, but hearing, like, Sound of Times, Satellite Live, hearing him sing, um, That's What Makes You Beautiful One in One Direction. I actually can't cope, my heart can't take it. When it comes to queuing and everything, we got off the train at, I wanna say 20 to four, and there was no queue. Got in the venue quarter to four, was sat down 
in general admission quite decent um standing area by 10 to 4 max um i think you can tell by the videos and stuff like we were still a fair way back but we weren't like that we could still have we still had a decent view um hope you can see by some of the videos but yeah honestly unreal a lot of standing around there i will say like if you're thinking any what well, any concert open house are, but if you're thinking general admission of any concert, especially open air, like outside um, theatre, just be prepared for the hanging around and the like sitting on the floor, standing, moving around, people getting a bit a lot of people fainting, which obviously isn't their fault, but do drink water and do eat a lot, like I kind of wish I'd eaten a bit more, but it's one of those things where you don't want to keep going to the toilet and like moving around and stuff because you'll lose your spot, which obviously when it is important when you pay for something like this. Um, but yeah, honestly, unreal, unreal night. Um, he sang like, what, 19 songs? Like, his support act mix, was that any good? His support act mix ski was so good too. Um, can't say I've listened to many of her songs, but like the way she performs is unreal. Not my bit, like she was good. Do I, will I like add her to my playlist and start listening to her? Probably not, but like she was still really good. Um, so I definitely recommend turning up, like coming for that if you're, you know, if you've got seats and stuff. Cause I know some people just turn up straight for Harry, but I would recommend coming for that. But honestly, I can't speak highly enough of that night. His family was there, like his mum was there, it was really cute. Um, but yeah, it was unreal. It was really unreal. Um, I can't believe it. I just can't believe that I've seen Harry Styles on it. I don't know what to do with myself now, my life's peaked. I don't really know, yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I actually can't believe. Um, I might have a bit more of a coherent roundup tomorrow, but uh, yeah, at this moment in time, I don't. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here tonight, eat my food and go to bed, but um, I'll give you a more coherent roundup tomorrow probably, and I will have put the videos in somewhere in this situation. But yeah, I will see you all in either the next video or a random clip tomorrow of, of summary. Yeah, I'll do a summary of tomorrow, but yeah, it was unreal. Um, so I'll pick you back up in the morning.